So over here we have Simon. So this is the golden hour color. I really like this because it's a white paste, but it has a colored mica inside of it when you tilt it in the light. So you can put it on top of projects and it won't necessarily cover things up if it's thin enough. So I like to just go in here with my finger, especially on the embossing folders. I'll take a little bit onto my palette here and you want a really thin layer on your finger. So like, just like that is perfect. Really super thin because you can always go back for more, but if you have too much, it'll go down into the embossing folder. And I'll just take some and swipe it onto the surface on those tulips. And again, just go back in for more if you need it. But a very thin layer, like you can see my finger right through it. And you're just adding a little bit of glitter and shine, but you're not taking away from the color that's already on the surface there. And I'll just go in and do this all throughout. Now we have several different colors of solar paste, so you can go in with whatever color solar paste you want. Like I said, here is that golden hour color. So it's gonna give us a yellowish golden shine, but you could go in with like a green for those leaves too, and just add a really beautiful shine all over the project. And what I love so much about this too, because sometimes there's like glitter pens and things like that that are on the market, where it's like liquid glitter. But when those dry, sometimes they come off on your fingers and all over your project and all over your recipient's hand. So once this dries, it's completely permanent. It'll be stuck onto your project and no glitter or sparkle will come off on your hand, which I really love about it. And then for the leaves, I'll go in with a little bit of crocodiles here. So this is that green color. I just want to show you there's several different colors of it. So this has a like green iridescent mica. I'll tap some onto the surface like this just so I get a really small amount again. And then I can go back onto the leaves and add a little bit of green there. So you can do this with any of the six colors that we have of the solar paste. And it's just a really great topper or embellishment to a project like this. And like I said, the solar paste does have a white base to it. So you do need to apply it really thin like this in order to see through it. Because if you apply it a little bit thicker, it kind of covers up a project usually. And I'll just go in and finish this off with a little bit of green. All right, so then this takes only a couple of like 30 seconds to a minute to dry too. I'll speed it along a little bit with the heat tool so you guys can see. But I love when you apply it so thin like that too because the dry time is little to nothing. So if you're applying it really thin, then you can continue on with the rest of your project like this. So this is already pretty much dry. It's a little bit wet right there. All right. Yep, that's all dry now. You can see the mica doesn't come off on your hands afterward. It's not rubbing all over the project. And you can see all of that like amazing sparkle and shine when you sort of tilt it in the light. Cool, yeah. It's really pretty. Of course, thank you guys. So I love how that looks. Now on the same talk about solar paste, I want to show you how to color your solar paste because I showed how to use it with just plain solar paste now to add on top of your project. But solar paste is a really cool paste because of that white um, factor, because you can go in and you can color it with anything. So I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna use a little bit of overheated, which is this orange solar paste. I'll take a little bit out of the jar here. Put it on my surface. And then I'll go in using a little bit of Crown Me ink. Now you can use a re-inker as well. You just need to make sure that this ink is going to be a translucent dye-based ink. If it is an opaque medium or a paint or any sort of like pigment ink as well, it'll cover it right up. So you need it to be translucent and these are that. So we can go in here with a little bit of purple Crown Me color. Now usually Crown Me or this purple would mix with that orange and create an, an absolutely brown color. Like it's gonna mix together and be bad, right? But that's a dye, and this is mica inside of here. So since it's a solid and a liquid, they're not gonna mix. So I can take this then, mix it right into my ink. And it's gonna create this gorgeous purple color then. You feel like you're at cold stone, right? You're like mixing the color. So if you can leave it streaky or you can fully mix it. Yeah, you can leave it like marbled too if you want to. Yeah, I love the color too. A really good one, one of my favorites of the ink pads. So I'm gonna go in then, and you can see, I don't know if you can see a little bit of orange shine still on here. So you've created a paste now that is a purple colored paste, but it's still got that orange shine to it. So when you put it on your project and you tilt it in the light, you're gonna see that orange, but you're gonna see the purple when you first look at it. So 
one of the things I love about Solar Paste is just how versatile it is like this. So I'm gonna go in with one of my stencils. This one is called Deco Diamonds. It's this really beautiful pattern. I love that purple color. And now I'll take my scraper from the paste tool set and scrape it down so you get a nice smooth effect. Beautiful. You get a nice crisp line with these. What I love about the solar paste too is that it is nice and creamy, but it's not too um, liquidy that it's gonna seep underneath your stencil, so it's nice and thick still. And then I'll go in here, just heat set this for a little while. Now, another thing I like about solar paste, there's a lot of things I like about it, of course, because it's my own paste, but <laughs> I love that you can heat set it without it bubbling. It's one of the things I went to the chemist, I was like, I'm impatient. This needs to dry. This has got to dry. So you can heat set it without it bubbling. As long as you keep the heat tool moving, you should be good. And it takes about two to three minutes. You can also heat it from the backside, just depending on how thick you applied the paste. Um, if you apply it thinner, like I said, it dries really quite quickly. Yes, and it's still bendable. Yeah, it doesn't crack on your surface, which is really great. Um, so nothing cracks off. But you can see it's not fully dry probably, but there's a little bit of orange shine being tilted in the light. Mm -hmm. And so that shine really shows through once it's a little bit drier and you get that really beautiful like purple paste with that orange look to it. And then you just want to make sure that when you're using your tools, you're cleaning your tools off once you're all done and make sure to clean them right away because lunar paste when it's wet is still, you can clean it off, but once it dries, it's completely permanent on your surface, um, except for uh, like plastic, it will come off, glass, it will come off, but if your surface is like a paper or canvas or anything like that, it will dry um, and become permanent. So you wanna clean it off while it's still wet, otherwise your senses will be embellishments. So <laughs> you wanna make sure to dry those or clean them off. All right, I stuck that in my own pace there. I failed my own test. Alarm. I failed my test, yeah. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to go in and do a little bit of blending with the inks. So do you have new colors? Yeah, new, colors. new colors, yeah. Let me show you the new colors. So the new colors are the neons. We have a couple of great neon colors. Yeah, and I'll show you this one. just too. Right yeah. Thanks, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. All right. Let's see. I'm going to grab them all out here. They're all kind of mixed in. All right. There's seven of them. All right, we got them here now. So, there's lots of different colors. We have Hot Mess, which is this bright pink color. There is Mood Ring, which is this kind of purplish fuchsia color. Then we have Tangent, which is this bright orange. Two yellows in the line. We have Yellow Jacket, and we also have Voltage. The reason I wanted both is because Voltage is more of a greenish yellow. This is more of a warm yellow. So you can use this with some of the warm tones. And you can use this with a lot more of the greens, blues, and purples. So I love that we included both because they are very different. If you see them here. Yeah. This one's more of a highlighter. This one's more of like an orangey sunshine yellow. So very different when you're using them on your projects. All right. And then we have a dart frog, which is this great neon green color. And then No Chill, which is this nice kind of icy turquoise blue, which I really like. And then here's the swatches. Now what's really awesome about Lunar Paste, of course, if you know the Lunar Paste, they're really bright metallic colors. And I wanted these to still have mica and kind of metallic shine to them. Because normal neon products don't, they're kind of matte usually. So uh, I worked with the chemist to make sure that these still had a little bit of that pearl shine to them. Sometimes the pearl interferes with the neon though, so we had to get it just right. So there's a little bit of shine, but it's not getting rid of any of the neon properties. So you can see they're nice and shiny still, which is great, they got kind of a pearly look to them, but they're still that really great bright color. One thing I like to say too is, sometimes people get a little bit nervous when they see all of these neons together on a page like this, but when you mix them in with the other colors, like here I use the neons in this background. If you use them with your regular ink colors and your regular paste colors, they mix into the line really well and just add a nice bright pop of color, but it doesn't always have to be just the neon palette where it's you know super bright and in your face but I always found that I used the brightest colors the most, so I wanted kind of a, a line or more of a selection of some brighter colors that I can use in my projects. Here I used the neons earlier to create kind of like a marbled look. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, I'm gonna come of by course, and grab yep. art and I snag my mic. Here you go. Thank you, I love the new colors. Thank you so much. They're looking great.